I've been to England, I've been to Australia, New Zealand. Uh, over like there's always good people and bad people, you know. In my job, like you know, you you come across a lot of people, you know, different varieties of people. Uh, majority of the customers are good, but sometimes you know you get um, you know the people who are kind of racist, you know. My name is Sandy. I'm from North India, the state called Punjab. Uh, I've been driving for nearly two years, two and a half years. It was a very handy job, like you, you are on your own boss, and uh, you know you don't need to worry about anybody else. You just whenever you want to start, you start your work. Whenever you want to finish, finish your job. The good experience, like many good experience, you know, um, like. Um, if you're friendly with the customers, you always get some, you know, the tip on top of your fare. Uh, but the good ones are once I get uh, a tip for 50 euro, and uh, the fare was only 19 euro, and the guy gave me 70 euro, I mean like 50 euro tip. I mean that's the best experience. And the bad one, oh, so a lot of bad experience. I mean like there's many times, maybe once a week, you can say, uh, you know customer just you know just jump out of the car and just ran without paying them you know the fare uh, and sometimes you know the people just waste in the car like they start vomiting and all this you know well the drunk people always like uh, end up you know some verbal fight and you know abusing and all this there are a lot of taxis in Dublin County and uh, you know it's very hard to find a place in the taxi ranks so you need to drive around and sometimes you know you're waiting for a customer on the yellow lines and the, and the, you know the guardies you know the guardies come and they just ask you to move so you can say like that's the biggest problem because the very little taxi ranks in Dublin city from council you know well like your taxi taxi driver need to be uh, properly they know how to service the customer you know and uh, need to know uh, health and safety so, of course, yeah, uh, all the drivers need to know how to give first aid and uh, how to give a proper customer service. You know, if you give a proper good customer service, then the customer definitely be happy and that's good for your business. Well, at first place, uh, I would like to stop the license, the new license, because as you know, like, there's, there's 16,000 plus taxis only in Dublin, you know, and it's very, very, very hard for a taxi driver to survive. They need to put very, like, 12 hour, 14 hour shift to get some good work, you know. And uh, the second change I would like, uh, like, I've, I've seen like so many old taxis in cities, like 99, 98, that need to be stopped and the customer need to get a proper taxis. And, uh, uh, you know, if, if, if you provide a good customer service, good car, neat and clean car, that would be good for the business, for everybody, not for me, not for, it's for, for everybody, you know. No, I definitely quit one day because uh, there's a lot of taxis around. Many taxis coming and the business is not good enough as compared to the last two years, you know. So if this thing going on another year, so I definitely quit and st start something my own or maybe I try to find a good job or something.